This is what I'm dealing with when I go thrifting with my dad. Are you ready? I think I've found this brand before. Welcome back everybody. We are going to Goodwill, but we have a special guest with us. My dad, the OG himself, 79 years young. Check him out. We're going into Goodwill. We're gonna go into a couple, see what we can find, see what he can find. Let's go have some fun. Everything I know, I learned from this guy right here. Build-a-bear, frog, you're my person. I bet. Not gonna get that. See the type of, ooh, these are a good brand of shoes right here. Come on, come on, come on. Oh my goodness. All right, anyways, these, whatever you call them, that brand right there, that's a good brand of shoe. I've sold it plenty of times before. Look, Heath Caring. Well, that's pretty cool. Heath Caring from H&M. That's neat. I don't think H&M's worth a ton, but Heath Caring stuff can be worth decent money. What do we have here? Clark's. No. Let's see what this is. This is Hey Dude. Look, Hey Dudes are way down there. Hey Dudes. Most overpriced shoe right now, six bucks. That's about accurate. That's okay. Six bucks is accurate. Gonna throw these in the cart. See what else we can find. Boop. Uh oh, he's already talking to people. Look at this guy. Most social person. You guys think I'm social? Look at him over there talking. Is this yours, sir? Yes, it is. Oh my goodness. What are you gonna do with that? I don't mind. Oh boy. Oh boy. So we got shoes up here, shorts down here. Pants, jeans, all the good stuff. Let's see what we have. Green tag is a new tag of the week. These are Hurley. I always buy these Hurley shorts if they are $3.99 cheap. Hurley, as you can see, no button, <laughs> not getting them. But I was gonna say, they have to have the Nike dry fit. Nike dry fit, I will pick those up if they have the Nike dry fit. Otherwise, we'll not pick them up. Would have gotten those for $3.99, but not now. There's some Under Armour shirt, shorts for $3.99. Under Armour, these are a little older. And these plaid, these don't sell anymore. In fact, I'm clearancing all mine off right now. Looking at the shoes too, nothing up there. I'll keep you guys posted on some shoes if I find them. There you go, there's some patchwork. Patchwork shorts, don't know this. Alexander Julian, heard of that name before, but I don't think those are anything special. Quite a few jeans, AG. Oh, these are women's. AG women's jeans don't sell for me at all, so I don't get them anymore. Definitely AG men's jeans do. Herman Morgan, never heard of those. Herman Morgan, American Eagle, 502 Lucky Brand. If our jeans were $4.99, so many Levi's, so many American Eagle, I would pick up so many. Here's some Nike swoosh pants, but they want $10 for them. You can forget about it. For, for five, I would pick these up, but not for 10. They're not vintage enough. They're just not vintage enough. They have to have maybe the silver tag. I'll snag them if they have the silver tag. 527s, I don't pick up those. What else we got over here? Arizona, obviously I don't pick up Arizona. Obviously. Okay, let's go over to the blazer section. Nope. Uh, almost Stafford, ooh. If this was a Stafford Harris Tweed. See that tweed in the buttons and it's Stafford? If that was a Harris Tweed that said right there, that would be like a $50 blazer. But it's not, so I'm not getting it. What is ooh, Orvis, brand new with tags for $5.99. But it has Rocks Real Estate, so not gonna get that. That's, if this was Pat Patagonia, North Face brand new with tags, I'd get it with that embroidery. But this Orvis, just not worth it for me. I'm not gonna get that one for $5.99. Look at this, Tommy Sports, what? With the uh, fine quality gear, I don't think so. Foot Joy, these just don't have really good resale value, so I'm not getting them. Wolverine, same thing, not really good resale value. Not getting those either. Hugo Boss, Hugo Boss is super expensive, Nordstrom's, but resale value, unless it's really good quality material, I don't get it, I just don't. This redhead, I think they sell that at like Cabell. I'm not for sure where they sell that. Bass Pro Shop maybe. Resale value is not great, so I don't get it. Oh, there he is. What do we have now? Magazines, good. Get your read on. 
get your read on. Ooh, this Nike's good looking. This is a good looking Nike. I know they're gonna have $10 on it, unfortunately, because that's what this store does, which they do. So $10 on this Nike, so that sucks. But this is a good Nike. This is a Nike polo that would sell for me. I don't pick up Under Armour anymore, but Nike, I do. And these I do as well too. These are just right up top. These are Echo um, Biome golf shoes. They have this tread on the bottom and that little bit of dirt does not bother me. But this, these are soft tees or soft cleats. The problem with these Echoes are, you can see right here, they yellow really bad down here. And when they yellow like that, I don't get them. If they didn't yellow like that, they sell for around 40 bucks. Polo Ralph Warren. My favorite brand, extra large, just regular polo shirt. This one's actually in not bad condition. I just wish these sold for $18 or $19 a piece. They don't. They bring like $15 or $16. It's just not enough. Me, even though I could sell that or I could list it really, really quick, I'm, I'm not going to pick it up. Just got to make a cut off. It's going to end up in a death pile, and my death pile is just going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and that's going to get filtered to the bottom. So you don't want to force a buy. It's huge. Look at these shoes again. Oh, these are worn out. So I'm just picking up these shoes, super worn out on the bottom. So you can see really bad heel drag is what we call that, heel drag. So I'm about to put those back. That's a bummer, that's okay. Also, wrestling shoes, I love wrestling shoes. I'm really into Asics though, Asics wrestling shoes. I like picking up. So right now we have a really lonely cart and we need to put stuff in it. So we need to find some things to put in it. Uh, OG's beating me. Oh, Polo Ralph Lauren, Gingham Check. This is the pattern you want, Gingham Check, for five bucks, but this is the neck and the length of the sleeve size. I don't get those. It has to be a large, extra large, medium for me to pick them up. Otherwise, I'm not getting them. Here's another good brand, Prana. Prana is a good brand. But these, for some reason, just don't sell for me. The only Prana that sells for me are the men's shorts and the men's pants. For some reason, these hoodies and shirts, button shirts, just don't sell for me. So I don't get them. And I've learned that the hard way. I get them and they don't sell. Oh man, this brand used to be so good. Charles Tywit, I think it's called. I used to get this brand and sell it really fast. Uh, anymore, they just don't sell well. I think you can buy like three for 60 bucks, brand new with tags now. And look, there's just a ton of them in here. One, two, three, four, five. That's all right. But yep, that's a brand I used to buy and don't pick up anymore. So that's what happens. Evs and flows of reselling. Ooh, Peter Millar, Summer Comfort, the Breakers Ocean Club. That sounds fancy. That sounds fancy, five bucks. We're gonna get this. So normally I talk about these Peter Millar's not doing really well, but that's probably a decent course. And these have been selling for me on Depop really, really well. So I'll throw it on eBay, I'll cross list it using Autoposher and I will put it on Depop and it'll probably sell for around 20, 25 bucks. So we got one thing. So there's like a $15 profit so far. The cart is no longer lonely. It's got his Peter Millar chilling. Guys, Peter Millar chilling. All right, let's keep looking through. Let's see what else we can find. Ooh, another Peter Millar. Okay, okay, we'll do that. $5, a lot of people probably don't know this golf course. Somewhere in Southern Indiana, really good golf course. A lot of people, I think, think it's like a business. It's not. Good pattern, check pattern on this, $5. All right, couple Peter Millar. We'll take that, we'll take that. What else do we have in here? Callaway, mm, not getting those Callaways, of course. We'll pull a Ralph Lauren. Gotta be, if it's short sleeve, it's gotta be something special for me. Gotta be something special. Disney After Dark, hey yo. What's up, Disney After Dark? Bugachi Yomo, used to be so good. Not good anymore. Last aisle of the men's, and then we'll go look at some hard goods. Sometimes this place has good stuff. Foot Joy, women's, I can tell by the cut, it's a women's. Not into that, women's golf stuff doesn't sell well for me. So I usually don't pick it up. All right, nothing there. Always gotta look for my VHS. Y'all know what I'm looking for. If you don't know, you need to know. All right, VHS, VHS. Give you a clue, it's a Disney movie. Arthur, 
Are there? Some of these are probably worth something, but I'm not gonna get them. Nothing. So they do have this section right here. It's all Nike and Adidas and stuff. Uh, uh, North Face, like you see here. And they price it all up, $10. Most of it's $10. It's fine, whatever. But sometimes they'll have like a Tiger Woods bl blade collar piece or something. I'll snag it for 10 bucks, but most of the stuff, I can't even sell Under Armour polos for $10 anymore. Here's, an, here's a Tiger Woods, but it's got that tag. That's not a good one. So we're not gonna snag that. There's a blade collar right there. So I was just talking about blade collars. That's what a blade collar looks like. Has a collar that doesn't fold over. Looks like a blade. This one's pretty beat up. $10, nothing special about it, not getting it. A lot of those will sell for over 30 bucks for me. Gross, nasty. Who would get the UK? Get out of here. Did you find something? Those are good looking. What size are they though? I can't tell. Those are oh they're apartment nine. Good for the good for the normal wear. They look good. You look snazzy. So we got some scrubs right here. These are not gonna be figs. I can just tell by the waistband they're not figs. Nope, no figs. No figs. That's okay. Figs haven't been doing what they used to do for me. I'm still selling them for around 20 bucks a pop. Top or bottom. So still worth it. $3.99 is my buy cost. Still worth a pick up. Let's go look at the hard goods real quick. I'm not gonna look through all this women's stuff. This store is heavily thrifted, especially women. So I'm not gonna really look through it. They do get good stuff though. I will say that. As I'm looking through it, I just said I'm not going to. I just can't help myself. I can't help myself. I always look for bikes, see if they have anything good like a Trek. Uh, always look for Trek. Look for decent brands and bikes whether kids or adults, and I will bring them home, fix them up a little bit, sell them on Facebook Marketplace. So I'm always looking at bikes. I'm over here looking at electronics and things. Of course I want a CC Filson bag, still on my bucket list. Looking at electronics, I'm looking for calculators as always, anything that pops out, anything that pops out. Of course we have tons of vacuum cleaners, always. Tons of golf clubs, but they're always turds. Just turd golf clubs. I mean, like seriously, it's just a giant turd golf club. We're not getting it. Not getting it. Got some, got some basketball stuff. All right, let's go over to the toys real quick. See if we can find anything at the toys. The toys. Got another Build-A-Bear. Isn't that a Build-A-Bear? Yeah, Build-A-Bear. Just a regular bear, not into it. But yeah, I've sold quite a few Build-A-Bear for good money. Oh. This is not, this is legit the Build-A-Bear that I sold recently. I just, oh, this is a Build-A-Bear, but this is small. Okay, so I just sold this Build-A-Bear recently for 70 bucks with Sonic for 100. But this one sells for 70. If you can find it in normal size, green tag, brand new color, and it is $1.99. I'm gonna go ahead and get it just because I know how much to go for the big ones. So we're gonna get this guy and see if they have any more like him in there. So we got the Peter Millars, and we're gonna get Tails. That's a good one. Of course, gotta look for American Girl doll. No, no American Girl doll there. All right, let's see if there's any more. Love Build-A-Bear. If it's a unique Build-A-Bear, like they only made them for a certain amount of time, they always do well. Pokemon do well. Ooh, this looks like a jelly cat, it's not. That, no, no, no. All right, well, there's tails. Let's see how much a small tails goes for. Build a bear tails. Tails. This one has the little feet. Okay, $34. They're asking for that guy. Remember, he's $1.99. We can put him in a poly mail and ship him super easy. Let's see what we have. Any gray foot, gray feet. We're looking for the gray feet. Gray feet. Gray feet. There he is. Okay, 33 bucks. So that's him right there. Got that guy, got that guy. There he is, 33 bucks sold. We're paying $1.99. So we're gonna get Tails. What up, Tails? All right, let's go catch up with him, see what he has, and then we'll cut out. 
of this thrift store and get to the next one. He loves going to thrift stores. That's his very favorite thing to do, going to thrift stores. So when I, take, when I call him and say, I'm gonna pick you up, go to some thrift stores, it's like heaven to him. I don't know where he went. I'll find him. There he is. Oh boy. His cart is full. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. There he is. Let's see what he has. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me, sir. Yes. What do you have in there? Let me see. Let me see what you have in there, sir. I'm gonna get rid of a lot of it. Uh-huh. That looks like a bunch of whore to me. Ooh, is that Lucite? No. Too bad. I don't think it's Lucite. Huh? I don't think it's Lucite. All right, I'm gonna go check out, okay? No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, wait, wait. All right, we're gonna get this stuff. So, with this guy, it's gonna be about $25 profit, then another 15, 15, 30. So let's say about $50 profit in these little guys right here. And we're gonna go to the next store. I'm a $50 bill in my hands with a little plush. I mean, I can't blame him, he loves a thrift store. I will put a video up here of him and I going thrifting a while ago. You gotta watch it, it's hilarious. Did you see his cart? Let's go to the next door. Hopefully, it gets better. A short drive later, we're at the second Goodwill. So we're gonna go to that first Goodwill and this Goodwill. See what we can find in there. $50 profit at the last one. Of course, we got OG with us. So we're gonna head on in. You got anything to say to everybody? Uh, just that it's been fun being with my son today, except he hurries me too much. Oh, well, time's money, buddy. Time is money. Well, I know, and I make a lot of it. Okay. All right, let's go. All right, there he is. Let's go. Look at that guy. Look at that little cutie up there. All right, I'm following you. Pick up the pencil. Pick up the pencil? Uh -huh. For what? Huh? What do you want it for? I want to see if it's any good. It is. It's good. It's perfect. Yep. You're going to keep the pencil, eh? Yeah. Ooh, look at all the new cards. Look at all the new cards. Get a, get a cart. Get a cart for the new cart. Cart for the new cart. Look at all these. How about that? How about it? Let's see what we have. Okay, I didn't know that brand. Got a little, little laser suit. Probably been picked over, but it's worth a gander. It's worth looking over. Those look kind of nice. I know they're not Lulu, but they're nice. What else? Ooh, some Adidas. Please don't be $10. They are $10. Dang it. These always sell really well for me. They almost still might be worth it. Uh, uh, no, I'm not going to get them. $10, I can't. They're like a $20 bill. Can't get them at 10 but They do sell super fast. They do sell. Pudia. What? They do sell super fast, though. I can't. Some things in life, you just can't do it. That's forcing a buy. That would be forcing a buy. I can't force a buy. All right, let's see what we have down here. Axel, Old Navy. Ooh, what is that? Oh, I thought that was Farm Rio. Oh, what if that was Farm Rio? New with tags. Oh, I'd be going crazy. You'd be going crazy. All right, some ties. Oh, he's already dropping stuff. Look at him over there. Some ties. Nautica. These are old, older ties, Croftonboro. Nothing I really want. Look down here, Let's see what we have. Pacer basketball, of course we love the Pacers. Again, I, there's Carhartt. I don't really buy Carhartt. As always, I look at the t-shirts on new carts, but I don't go look at them on the racks because usually they're picked over. Here's a Carhartt loose fit for $5. You guys are gonna be mad, I'm gonna pass it up. Carhartt is just oversaturated right now. Really tough to move. Really tough for me to move Carhartt. That's okay. That's okay. We'll let someone else have it and enjoy it. Ooh, what are these? These seem nice. Oh. Uh, I don't know what these are. We're going to put them back. Unbranded. Unbranded. Put those back. Fine. Here. Nice sleepwear. Mermaids, women's clothing, t 
T-shirts, Colts. Just the norm. Just the norm. That's kind of cool. Fifty fifty hangings. Sunshine Arrow. Florida, Alabama Aviation. Double stitch. I can get it. Look at this vintage leather jacket. Ooh, pretty. Back in it now. Peekaboo, we're watching you. Cubs, Mizuno, Performance, Cubs, Mizuno, Performance, number 13. I feel like that's made for a local team with the name of the Cubs, not the actual Cubbies. Look at this, Nike. <laughs> Nike with that glidden tag. That's fakey fake. Arms they have that. There's a hard dude cart right there. Let's go see what it's got. Some skis, some golf clubs, some more turds. And this cart doesn't look like it has anything we want on it. So let's go over to the men's. Men's clothing and men's shoes. Let's see what they have. See what they have. Usually I get some decent stuff here. Store gets some good donations. What are these? Wolf and Shepherd, let's go. Wolf and Shepherd is one of my favorite new brands. So Wolf and Shepherd right there. These are $20. The problem is they do have this orthotics in it. This is not, I think this is an orthotics. Curve Rex, high support, I don't know. Either way, pretty sure these are worth it. We'll look them up in a little bit. But Wolf and Shepherd, for 20 bucks, I think I can sell these for around 50. So definitely gonna snag these. Is this Lucky? Lucky brand, premium denim, $20. Get out of here. Get out of here for some Lucky, 20 bucks. No way, no way. Goodwill, are you watching this? Google, if you're watching this, get on it. No way, ooh, the Nomad, okay, we'll do these. You take your lucky, I'll take these. So these are the Nomad AG jeans, Adriana Goldschmied. And these are the Modern Slim, $7.99. Snag those, I don't even care the size. They do have that wallet though. They do have that wallet wear, which is pretty normal for these. But they don't sell as well as they used to. So you got your wear here and your wallet wear. So I'm actually gonna put those back. I was all excited for a second. Boo. All right, new cart, what do we got? 560s? Yep, we'll look at those later. Talk about those in a minute. Okay, let's move the, ooh, Carhartt hat. That's nice. I'm gonna snag that. This is gonna be for the personal. It's a nice little hat for the personal. Indiana Pacers, vintage Pacers. Kind of cool. $4.99 now. Can't do it for $4.99. No tag, and it's not a single stitch, so I'm not gonna snag those. Let's go back over to the other side. Let's see what we find over here. Noma, Noma. No, no, no. All right, let's talk about these. 560s, as you guys know if you watch my videos recently, 560s, one of my favorite Levi's to pick up. So definitely pick up 560s because they have that balloon fit in the pants and the like thigh section. So they're a good pickup. Usually they're made in the USA. So let's see where these are made. And if you don't see a tag on them, you're gonna look way down on, oh, these do have a tag right there. So these are not gonna be made in the USA, but they are 560s. And I am gonna pick them up, especially being black. So those will be like eight into 28. So we'll say $20 on those. That's for the personal, for the kitty. And another 20 on these, so we got 40 profit. Rolling out more carts. They're rolling out carts like crazy here. Sport Kaluni, Kaluni, I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is, I'm gonna look it up. David Donahue. But yeah, let's go, we got ties real quick. Any good ties, Stafford and Roger. Nope, no good ties. Gotta hurry, gotta hurry. Don't have a ton of time in this thrift store, but $40 so far. So between the two thrift stores, a hundred bucks, and I'm with my dad, it's priceless. Pay for dinner tonight. Take him out for some dinner. Ooh, Peter Millar, King's Barnes, Peter Millar XL Warmth. As long as this doesn't have any holes in it, I'm gonna snag it. So we got five bucks. For Peter Millar warmth. Peter Millar, that's the theme of this video, that's for sure. No doubt. Let's see what else they have. They might have more. Again, green tag. Link for green tags, because that's the new tag of the week. 
All the other tags have been looked over by me. Where I want to go is right over there. I'm going to go look at the blazers and jackets. That's what I'm about. Blazers and jackets. Okay, let's see what we can find. What type of blazers we got? Calvin Klein. Nope. Nope. James. Nope. All right. No blazers. Let's go back and look at the toys. Definitely looking for some jelly cats. Jelly cats, where are you? Ooh, there's a Build-A-Bear. Lion King Build-A-Bear, new with tag. Lion King Build-A-Bear, new with tag. There's your Build-A-Bear, there's the Lion King. I don't know how old this is, but it is new with tags. Let's look it up, the Lion King Build-A-Bear, new with tags. Look, there's a ton of Build-A-Bear around here. Okay, let's see if there's any sold. Which one, is that the same? Got the black, okay. There's a sound on them. Is there a sound? I don't think so. I don't think it, for ten dollars. I just don't. There's one right there. Stuffed animal. Is it Mufasa? It is Mufasa. Which oh, Mufasa? Mufasa sold for forty-three dollars. Ten to forty-three. New tags. Ah, that's a tough one. I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. I'll throw them in the cart for now. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. Okay. Another Build-A-Bear here. No, nope, don't want that one. But we do have Blimpy. Oh, Blimpy. Bye, Blimpy. All right. I don't think I'm going to get Build-A-Bear Mufasa. I'm going to put Build-A-Bear Mufasa back, even though he's new with tags. Might be a good pickup. You guys might be upset with me, but I'm not going to get it. All right, let's go see what the daddy has got in his cart. Who even knows? And we should look at the shorts and pants before we cut out of here. Let's see what he's got. All right, let's see. Brad. Yes. Where have you been? What do you have? Did you get me anything? No. A shirt? Link sole pants. I don't think we're going to get Link sole pants. These were golf pants I'd get them. Link sole is a golf brand, but these are more casual. Peter Millar, I'd get them, but not Link sole. Speaking of Peter Millar, okay, there we go. Just what I was talking about. Ooh, we'll see. Peter Millar, there you go. There's your crown. Five bucks, green tag. We are looking pretty good here. I think we're gonna get these. For five bucks, these Peter Millar chino type pants. We'll throw those in the cart with the other Peter Millar and we'll call it a Peter Millar day. And another pair of Peter Millar pants, size 35. Have that nice logo there. We're gonna definitely get those, another $5. These go for about 32, so we'll say $20 profit. Little mark there, no big deal. $20, so another $20, 40, so we're $80 here at the store so far. $80 profit, this does have a little mark here. I don't think it's that big a deal. I can get that out easy. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So we have a couple Link Soul, we have a couple Pinot Millar. Proof. I think I've found this brand before. Proof, this is a good brand. I never found it in pants though. So I'll show you the tag. Proof, this is the brand. Proof straight. So it Proof men's green jeans. Proof, Proof men's pants. Okay, Proof men's pants. Pre-owned, $23, $39, let's see what they go for. Again, we're in summer, so comps are gonna be a little bit different. And they rolled out a new cart, so we better go look at that. Condition, used, ooh, tons of sold. Proof, 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 right there. 31 bucks, we're gonna get those. We're gonna go look at the new cart, too. So we'll go look at the new cart, see what it has. Lifesaver, upwards, nothing really in this one. This is the one they rolled out earlier. I don't really see anything. There's another Build-A-Bear. This is like an OG. OG Build-A-Bear. Some tools. Nothing really on here I'd want. But worth a look. This store puts out a ton of stuff. I haven't come to this store very often and they're putting out a ton. Over here. Let's go back over to the pants. We're doing all right with these pants right here. So that's another $20, I'd say. Another 20 
about an 80. Just left the last door. My battery died, my bad. Over $100 profit. But this is what I'm dealing with when I go thrifting with my dad. Are you ready? That. What do you think? What do I think about what? How much was the hat? Uh, nothing. Nothing? Don't talk to me. Don't I'm talk not talking to you. $1.99. You look good. Did you have fun? Huh? Did you have fun? I had a ball. Good. All right, let's go. All right, guys, that's going to be it. That's all she wrote. We will see you in the next one.